Okay, hi, my name is Vanessa Pitts. I'm from Tuskegee University, and I'm in the RU program at Alabama a &M University, and I'll be presenting my bi-weekly progress reports on the photo-induced electrokinetic manipulation of biosynthesized silver nanoparticles during holographic grading recording in the photorefractive crystal. Um, my mentors were Tanya K and Nicola K, and this is my bi-weekly progress report. Okay, last, the, my last bi-weekly progress report, I ended with this, and this is what I'm going to start. Um, this is what I did for the past two weeks. Um, this was the experimental setup of the actual um, holographic grade recording. And the, basically, the figure above shows the actual setup and the material used. And basically, this is the laser. And basically, the laser will beam the light through the lens and basically expands the beam out. And then basically a beam splitter was used to split the beam into two. And then basically um, this mirror was used to reflect the second beam. And when we adjusted the distance, we created a two beam coupling um, for holographic recording and, and an iron dope lithium nylon crystal. And then basically the crystal was then placed in a silver nanoparticle solution. My objectives. My objectives were to demonstrate and see how effective the holographic recording of a photorefractive crystal would be. Also, after completion of the holographic recording, be able to observe the grading of the photorefractive crystal. Um, basically, this is another uh, basic scheme of the grading recording of the photorefractive crystal. Um, basically, it just shows basically. Um, when I say the basic scheme of it, um, the example we used was an um, iron dope um, lithium nylon crystal. And basically, during the grading recording in the photorefractive crystal, um, basically, um, photo excitation of the charges began. And basically, once the um, electrons start to move around, this is called a diffusion um, drift or photogallic current. Um, basically, this process will cause a change of refractive index. Um, basically, some examples that can be used are basically um, regular crystals, it can be polymers, or it can be liquid, um, liquid crystals. Um, some background information on the iron dope um, lithium nylon crystal. Uh, basically, it is a material that generates electric fields and voltages of up to 100,000 voltages for crystals when activated by a light of a certain frequency. Um, actually, um, actually, physics and um, bio biologists are working to fight cancer by developing a drug that destroys tumor cells, and the main ingredient is actually this iron dope lithium nylon crystal. Um, what is a grading recording? It's basically a holographic recording that shows the grains of a structure that has repeating structures, patterns, I'm sorry. This recording is completed by using illumination by laser beams. And another, uh, basically an example that is used is the iron dope lithium nylon crystal, which has basically will have lines that are cut at the same interval after going through the holographic grading recording process. Um, actually, here are some results of um, basically doing the um, grading recording. And basically, this picture is actually of a curvet before um, illumination, and it contains the silver nanoparticle solution. And you uh, probably can't see it, but it actually shows the um, crystals that were used. And this picture actually shows after illumination, this is the picture that shows the grading. So you can actually kind of see them right there of the nanoparticle solution. And this was done at the magnification of 400. Okay, this is my results continued. Basically, this um, actually is another picture of the Corvette after illumination. And you can actually see like at the very top, like where I did a closer image right here, where it actually shows the gradients that were taken under an optical microscope. And um, basically down here, there really wasn't um, no gradings down here. So right here, it shows where there was none. OK, this is the second experimental setup. Basically, this shows a single beam coupling. Basically, it's the same as the previous one. And it's basically just using one beam instead of two. 
and basically it's the same. Okay, this is actually an example of using the one bean coupling. Okay, basically this is a recording of the diffraction grating using a solid state laser at 532 nanometers and basically a silver geranium nano solution was used. Uh, basically, um, this um, recording was there for actually a whole hour of illumination. Um, basically, the laser beam that we used was kind of unstable, so basically the beam was changing from 3 milliwatts to 190, so basically you can tell from this picture right here that the gradients didn't come out basically, you know, well, because after an hour it should have basically been looking maybe something like this, but it turned out like this, so because the laser was not testing correctly. Um, these are also some um, pictures we took under the optical microscope. And as you can see, this is kind of some of the gradients recorded by the um, iron dope lithium novel crystals um, using a diffraction gradient. And this one down here is the redistribution of the ferric electric nanoparticles, and they were dispersed in a vegetable oil. Okay, well that ended what I did for the past two weeks, but in my future work, my next step is basically to conduct the characterization of nanoparticles using um, Fourier trans transform and fair spectroscopy. And also I'll be using atomic force microscopy and scanning electric, electron, excuse me, microscopy. So basically that'll be my next bi-weekly presentation.